answer this great question about what mm. do we do with Pauli de Burghese? Well, I think you know very well what you're doing with Pauli de Burghese. We should maybe tell the story how it began. In you came home. Very beautiful home. city. Looking exactly. at the bust of Ottaviano Augusto, first emperor of Rome. And look at, at the Profilo Continuo of the Duce by, by a guy who was called Bertelli, done in 27, but never done in glass. And I did it in glass in Murano. And then I did the bust, which is the most important of Ottaviano Augusto, which was impossible to do. Everybody said, no, 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 no. Finally, I, I realized how to do it. And actually, you liked it. That's yeah. why you said, what's your next so, project? And, and you said the next project. But that's how it started. And you said, why don't we do it together? And then we started talking about the practicalities of, of scanning. Yeah. And because um, Factum was moving part of Factum to Bologna, we thought it would be a very good idea before we start the work on San Petronio mm -hmm. to come and uh, do three dimensional recording of Paulina at the highest resolution possible. So part of the problem of 3D recording marble is that it's slightly translucent so the light goes in. The question is how, what level of, say, accuracy to the surface can we get and what level of transformation within the digital data will take place. And the hope is that we can get something that's exactly like the surface of Polina at probably half scale. So yeah, it's 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 one meter good. rather than one meter eighty. So are we going to cast it in Murano? Apparently, to cast it, I did it in Tuscany, the last one, because the problem is that the glass of Murano has silicio, silicio yeah. and it doesn't have piombo, which is another name in English, lead. lead. You, have, you need to have the lead because the, the crystal is clean, the silicio it's crystal is dirty. So if you have a, a marble, a statue of marble, something has to be absolutely lucid, clean and clear, because otherwise it wouldn't be that nice. But really, the first stage. We'll is, do it in Tuscany. First stage is what you is are to, doing. Is to get yeah. her digitized. So there's going to be a number of stages to get yeah, to this end. Yeah. So in this case, the idea is to make a very small edition uh, of ten copies. So, so I want to play with the glass because I've never yeah. worked in glass apart from the time when you tried to make the eggs. So they are very, very nice. The yeah, I think glass we, we will do a, for sure. We'll do the first one would be white. I mean white. Glass, transparent, Trans totally transparent and clean, like ice, like, like ice. a piece of ice. The second one could be white, but uh, there are no kind of white. Yeah, but very slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, that could be an idea. Well, I think it could be very good. Then the one I would love to do is the what in Venice, in Murano, you call rosso rubino. It's a, rosso a rubino, it's it's the the the, the dark head becoming transparent. All the red in Venice is done like this. And it's more expensive than the rest of the glass because it's done with gold. I think we should do four colors. Fine, a smoked. A smoked grey. But not a black. You don't think black Paulina. Black? I, I did my, my, my bust black. You saw it. I'll show you the one, the black one. Let's find it. Yeah. 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 The black Augusto. Look at the detail of the of the of the, cast of the ear. You see that it's transparent. Like it's Paulina's it's, nose. It's like but Paulina's more. nose. Amazing. It changes color. You see. It's it so gets beautiful. to sort of yellows and, and browns. Let's do look. You see, these are the colors. Yeah, that's the pink. No, this I can. This is the red. Yeah. Here you don't see the pink because this is that the, you did on the previous one. 